We will start with Waylon here. He is the oldest male and the so-called alpha male. He is my smartest wolf dog and he is very observant. We sometimes call him watching Waylon because he is always watching what's going on. If he is inside and there's a curtain or shade blocking his view of the outside, it will come down. While he will discipline the pups when they get out of line, he is also submissive and he cooperates with us. Um, for instance, when he was a 10 week old puppy, he saw our husky pee on the pad one time and he did the exact same thing. No more training needed. He will just about always share his food with other dogs too. He has even brought food to my older pit mix, Sadie. I guess he thought she looked hungry. And like I said, he is also extremely smart and will turn a doorknob with his mouth and flip a gate lock with his nose after watching how the humans did it. He is, however, also protective of the pups and Luna, even though Luna is dominant over him. She and Waylon are also a team. Her tail is always wagging high, showing her dominance. She's the first to run to the fence if she sees another dog or a coyote. She is also the smallest of the four. When she was a puppy, I used to take her to the dog park, but after about 18 months, that came to a stop. She realized she didn't have to submit to just any dog anymore. She will also grab a piece of meat, set it down in the middle of the containment, and dare any of the others to try and take it from her. She is fine with people, but doesn't like children or other dogs very much. She walks, well, she struts with great confidence too. She does not mind being crowded in by people either. Silas here is a big goofy pup. He is very friendly with people and loves meeting them too. He's always hungry and he's very food motivated. However, he is pretty dog aggressive when it comes to strange dogs. He likes to dig a lot and he has lots of fur and so he gets hot in the summer. He is getting older now and he's starting to show some dominance, but Luna and Waylon quickly correct him when he does. He actually will probably have to be separated from the adults pretty soon. In the wild, if a wolf wants to breed, he will leave and start his own pack. This is because wolves usually have only just one breeding pair in a pack. This keeps their numbers in check. So with captive wolves and wolf dogs, separation from the alpha pair is often needed because they can't just disperse. And last but not least, we have Bear. Bear is a high content and he is the baby of the pack. He is full of energy and can be a bit stubborn too.